Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. Little ghouls and goblins will be out this weekend. I think I might even have one here behind me right now. <laughs> They'll all be hoping to score a, a jack-o'-lantern full of candy. But how, how exactly did this tradition even get started in the first place? Why do trick-or-treaters go door-to-door -door each year? Let's connect the dots. Halloween has been around in one form or another since the first century BC, and sweets have always played a big part. During Celtic celebrations, food was left out overnight to supposedly calm unwanted spirits. And in later centuries, people would dress up and play pranks for food and drinks. Those traditions were brought to the US by Irish and Scottish immigrants in the mid 1800s. But by the 1920s, there were a lot more tricks than treats. Halloween became a night of vandalism and even acts of violence. So neighborhoods started getting together to hold organized events for kids. There's a break for sugar rations during World War II, but the tradition soon returned. The phrase trick-or-treating became common by the early 1950s, showing up everywhere from the Peanuts comics to Disney cartoons. And that popularity means trick-or-treating is now a big business. Families spend over $2 billion on candy each year, making Halloween our second largest commercial holiday. And that is Connecting the Dots.